Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome to Webventure TV. And if you want to know how to stay active while studying and working and being remote, then please don't go anywhere because today we're going to help you do just that. And it all starts right now. If you don't know me already, I'm Clark, the host and creator here at Webventure TV. Nice to meet you. This channel, we talk about becoming the best versions of ourselves, one episode and one day at a time, which for us means becoming fit, healthy, and strong in both mind, body, and spirit. And if that's something that you want to know more about, if that's something that speaks to you or that rings a bell within you, please subscribe. We would love for you to join the tribe, and you can do so by hitting the subscribe button, which is right down there in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. It's free, it's easy, it takes but a second, so please hit it right now. And be sure to hit the notification bell, which looks like this because that way you won't miss any episodes. In today's episode, we're gonna give you some great ideas how to go with the flow of being remote, whether you're remote learning, whether you're remote working, but this is how you can stay active so that you are efficient and effective. So please don't go anywhere because if you leave now, you're gonna miss everything we have to offer. And if you leave now, you're gonna miss out on this episode's co-host, which you all know really, really well because he's a friendly neighborhood kind of guy and I know that he has so much to offer and to share with you so please don't go anywhere all right but let's get into it and here's some thoughts from my own experience now I'm a single dad a co-parent to an amazing active kindergarten boy his name's Sebastian and he is awesome and this year is his kindergarten year although it's not turning out to be what we expected which is really really disappointing because we go from all day kindergarten to three hours in the morning and 30 minute Zoom classes in the afternoon. Now, this is the world that we live in. We're all being forced to go remote. He's fortunate to go to school right now, that's awesome, but there's also the chance that that might change any second because of COVID. So what do we do? We can either fight it or we can go with the flow. So if we're all stuck at home all day like we were with quarantine, how do we stay active? How do we stay engaged? How do we stay in the moment? And for me, I look at it as like a really beautiful once in a lifetime opportunity that I get to be with my son every single day, that I get to be part of his schooling every single day. I get to help him with art, with math, with letters. I mean, that's not something I would typically experience. And so for me, instead of fighting where we're at, I go with the flow of it because now I get to have new amazing moments that I create in this literal changing day to day process that we are in as a family, as a world, as a neighborhood and everything. But what do we do while we're stuck at home? You know, what do we do whether we're working at home in front of a computer screen, whether our kids are sitting in front of a computer screen doing their classes, how do we stay active? How do we not sit in front of those screens all day? Because frankly, sitting in front of screens all day is not good for adults. It's not good for kids. It's not good for our mind, our body, or our spirit. So what can we do to be effective, efficient while on the screen, while off the screen, how can we intermingle the two so that way we have a great experience in this new time of remote learning and being part of our children's education? So I have a lot of ideas on it, but I'm going to let Spider-Man take it away. I know you've been waiting for the co-host of this episode, so here he is. Take it away, Spidey. Oh, thanks, Clark. I really appreciate it. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing? Uh, it's just me, you know, Spider-Man and Pluto the plant here, just staring longingly outside. It's you know, it's one of those rainy, windy days, you know, where you're kind of not sure what to do because you're at home remote learning or remote working, and it's rainy out, and it's kind of like, ooh, you know, even Pluto's screaming. He's like, ah, get me outside. <laughs> oh, but, you know, oh, I mean, wouldn't we love some sun right now, right, Pluto? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, oh. But, um, you know, that's the tough thing about where we are at right now with all of this stuff going on. I don't know about you guys, but we're all working remotely or we're working, you know, doing school remotely. Some of you are parents. Some of you might not be parents. Honestly, it probably doesn't really matter. And my hat goes off to you. Well, maybe not my hat. I'm not wearing a hat. Um, My mask goes off to all of you, whether you're a parent or not, because all of this, working remote, studying remote, especially if you have to parent in all of it, it's all really, really hard. And I gotta say, I'm really proud of you. I know a lot of people doing this and you're all doing a really great job. So keep it up. And believe it or not, I, I do know a thing or two about having to work remotely. Well, I mean, study remotely, because when I'm not out, you know, chasing bad guys and kicking bad guy, but I too am stuck at home studying when I'm not who I am, right? And I wanted to offer some ideas, some 
staying active options that will allow you to be efficient and effective while you study or while you work remotely, but also allow you a chance to get out and move, to get away from your desk, to get away from that computer, to stop looking at screens and to do something for your mind and your body and your spirit other than studying or working, okay? So here are some ideas, let's go. Option one, I suggest, is a stand-up desk. Now, if you don't have a stand-up desk on hand, I mean, there's some pretty nifty ones out there. I mean, I don't have one. I mean, you gotta have to kind of improvise, but standing up, you know, stack some boxes or stack some, I don't know, containers. Get it where your arms are kind of like level, kind of like this. Yeah, you know, that way you can stand at your desk and you can kind of shift your weight and you can move around a little bit. I mean, maybe don't take it too far. This could be a little crazy, but you know, maybe you could, walk in place. I've heard people have walking desks. You can maybe jog in place. That's a little silly, but hey, why not? I mean, who knows? Maybe pick up your computer and do some squats, you know, send an email, do 10 squats. Oh, I'm just, I'm just shooting from the hip people. I mean, it might be a little silly. It might be a little, a little too far over the, the line, but hey, whatever, you know, it's still a cool idea. Anyway, just trying to offer an idea to be active while you work in front of a desk. Just saying. Option two is think of working at home or studying at home, kind of like a Tabata workout. Now, Thor Webinson would love this. Tabata is where you, you work for a little bit and then you get to rest. In terms of working at home or studying at home, how about maybe 40 minutes of work, 20 minutes of play or rest, you know, work really hard, be really efficient, effective, and focused for 40 minutes, whether you're working or studying, whether you're a parent or a student or uh, an employee, and then give yourself 20 minutes to go for a walk or maybe a bike ride. Or, you know, if it's a rainy day, maybe go jump in some puddles, kind of like this. And if you check out some of our Move and Motivate episodes, I bet there's some workouts you could even do in 20 minutes. So another great idea, 40 on, 20 off. Work for a little bit and then allow yourself some downtime. Maybe this one might be good for the parents to motivate your kids to do really, really well. You know, to get all those answers right while they sit in front of that computer or study their math or whatever they're studying. Help them, encourage them to get the answers right. Because if they don't, you could give them a 10 burpee penalty. <laughs> yeah, Aunt May used to do that to me. And uh, boy, oh boy, I'll tell you what, 10 burpees. I would rather really get that multiplication question right than do 10 burpees. So a little positive enforcement there, or is that negative reinforce? I don't know. Just, you know, get all your answers right. No burpees, super simple. Come on, parents, and you get involved too. Have fun with your kids. Go out and run around, be silly. Embrace the life that is being a kid. I'm not a parent, but I, I you know, I, I know that Clark gets to like play and, and kind of act like a child, no offense, Clark, uh, with his little guy. He just runs around, does whatever his little guy wants. Make believe, imagination, fighting aliens. I mean, I mean, who doesn't want to do that? Think about 20 minutes of that after 40 minutes of hard work. That sounds like a great kind of day and a great combination, right? And really, that's it, guys. I just had a few ideas I wanted to share with you. Well, keep up the good work. I'm so proud of all of you having to work remotely or study remotely. Remember, work and have fun. Find a healthy balance of everything. And you will definitely survive this remote time of learning and studying and will come out of it even stronger than before. All right, yeah! Say goodbye, Pluto. Woo! Bye-bye-bye! Bye, <laughs> bye, guys. Well, everyone, there you have it. Some great ideas from our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I mean... How can you not enjoy what he has to share with us, both from his own life, his own experience, and what he's doing right here, right now? If you uh, like what we had to say, if you like what you saw, if you learned something new, please hit that like button. Remember, leave a comment. Let us know what you learned. Let us know what you'd like to talk about because your feedback is so important to us evolving as a channel and making every single episode better and better for you. And of course, most importantly, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. It's right down there in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. It's free. It's quick and easy. And then you don't miss any episodes, especially when you make sure that you hit that good old notification bell, which looks like that. All right. Well, until we see you again, please check out some of these other episodes. And remember what we always say. Be authentic. Be fearless. Be you. And everything else will fall into place. Thanks so much. And talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.